Welcome back to Service Dogs to Come. I'm Anne Marie and I'm a soon to be service dog handler. I'm here to share my knowledge about service dogs and shed light on the service dog community and things that go on. And I'm here to bring you along with my life as a disabled handler and my dog's life as being my service dog. Before we start the video, I would like to put in my disclaimer. I'm not going to share anything about my disabilities at this point in time because I do not feel comfortable with sharing that online at this moment. So I'm sorry, but that's just the way it's going to be. Um, I may share some of it later on, but for right now, that's it. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. So basically what a emotional support animal is, is an animal helping with um, mental illness um anything like that and just basically an animal that helps you feel good a service dog is an animal performed trained to perform tasks for a disabled handler and to help them with things that they can't normally do um such as i have things that I can't normally do that normal people can do and so my dog is going to help me with those things. So one of the misconceptions that is a problem is service dogs and ESAs and people think they're the same thing. No they are not. If a store does not say pet friendly or service dogs and ESAs then you cannot bring your ESA in there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, you can't bring your normal pet, you can't bring your ESA in. It's just the law, and if you do that, you're breaking the law. I'm sorry. <laughs> and they are allowed in homes that do not allow pets. That is all they are allowed to is stores that say ESA or pet friendly, and homes that don't allow pets. If you have a doctor's note, you can have that. Um, for service dogs, you do not have to have a doctor's note anywhere. Another thing that is kind of a misconception and kind of goes around this topic of ESAs and service dogs is um, that you can ask these dogs and their owners to leave the store and you cannot ask a legitimate service dog team to leave your store. Um, you are allowed to ask two questions and that is is that a service dog and what tasks is it trained to perform? And so they cannot ask you any more than that. They cannot ask you for registration or doctor's notes because registration is not real and you don't have to have a doctor's note. And the, you cannot be asked to leave unless your dog is like peeing on things or tearing things up and acting out of place when they're supposed to just kind of be not there. They um, are drawing a lot of um, stuff and like messing up things and they can't really do that because that's not how service dogs are trained. They're supposed to just ignore everything um, and so if they are messing up it's probably a fake service dog or a dog that is not ready to start PA training or public access training. ESAs, if they do act up, if they are being loud, distracting, or anything like that, businesses have their full right to ask them to leave. They are not service animals and they are not allowed everywhere. If they, if an ESA was brought into a store that said no, they can fully ask them to leave. They cannot try and pass that dog as a service dog or anything like that. And just because a dog has a vest on, even though ESAs don't need vests, if it has a vest on, that does not mean it's a service dog. There are ESA vests, but there's not really a reason to have an ESA vest unless you're just trying to take this dog everywhere and trying to be like, no one will notice if I just slap an ESA vest on there because it looks like a service dog vest. No, no, it doesn't work like that, I'm sorry. <laughs> On the other hand, I did want to say that I do actually have an ESA, so if you guys want to see that I actually have an ESA, you can go check out our Instagram, which will be linked below. 
you can go check that out show us some love on there but I just want to say that I definitely understand I am a dog trainer so I know I've trained lots of dogs I know that you don't have to train an ESA because my dog though I do train my ESA he's not trained to perform tasks or anything you know just kind of basic training um, and learning to behave because he's older and he's grumpy and I need to have him in his old age, but in the right way. I need to have him trained because it just keeps me occupied until I get my service dog to train, so yeah. All right guys, I hope you like this video. I have so much fun making this, these videos. This is my job. I have about six or seven or eight channels now that I'm working for, and some of them are mine, some of them are dual channels some of them I specifically edit for and upload for so I have so much going on but it really is just a lot of fun because I am a full-time student as well obviously and high school is a lot and dog training and YouTube and you know like I have so much going on I'm a full-time youtuber working for other people for myself for my friends and I and also um, dog training I'm a full-time dog trainer and also <laughs> I am a full-time high school student so it's a lot to put on someone but these videos actually help me relax and explain to you guys what I have to deal with on a daily basis. Again, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there. It's big, red, you cannot miss it. We want you guys to become part of our family and to come along with our life and so we can show you and explain to you what all happens in the service dog community and the dog trainer community and the YouTube community and a full-time student community, you know, whatever community you want. It's probably here. Um, and make sure to hit that beautiful like button with that beautiful thumb because we want to feel the love. Also, don't forget to comment down below on video ideas or questions you have for us about anything, service dogs, ESAs, my life, my dog's life, my other dog's life, any dog to come's life, um, anything you want. I do reply to every single comment. I will be so happy to reply to yours if you do. If you have a question for a Q&A video that I have coming up soon, um, when I get enough questions to put into one video, um, please, if that is what you want your question to be um, put into a Q&A video, then please put Q&A and then a colon and then your question or comment. And if you have a video idea for me that you don't want me to put into a video, please put video idea, colon, and then your idea or your question, and I will definitely put that into, into a video for you guys, because I do want to make videos that you guys really want to make, and not just videos that I have on my long list of videos to make. <laughs> So, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to go show us love on Instagram. The Instagram link for our Instagram will be down below in the description. Go get our Instagram name, go search us. We have the same um, profile picture as our profile picture on YouTube. So, go do that and show us love on there. Um, go on to our my latest post and comment from YouTube and I will definitely like that and I might follow you back. So anyway, hope you liked this video. Don't forget to do all those crazy fun little things and yeah, we will see you in the next video.